Welcome to the getting started video for the garden landscape design software Garden Planner. First up, let's have a look at the main parts of the Garden Planner software. The main area is the design or grid area where you design your plan. On the left, we have the plants and objects. You can select a plant or select a shrub in this case, click on it and click again to add it to the grid. And you've started making a design, it's that simple. Um, a drop down list gives you a whole range of different plants and objects to choose from, including flowers, buildings, pools and ponds, walls and fences, fruit trees, and more. Um, so we can select the fruit trees option and add an orange tree simply by clicking and clicking again. There's also the tools tab and that provides you with drawing tools that allow you to draw a range of different elements in garden plan now. Garden beds, walls and fences, paths, pools and gravel and stone. So for example, let's draw a simple garden bed. We'll choose first choose for style, which is just a soil look. Then we pick to draw it. We do click once to start our drawing. Click again to add a corner. Click again to add another corner. Double click to end. And there we have it, a garden bed easily drawn. The blue dots on the corner allow you to adjust the shape of it and the green dots allow you to curve the shape of it, making it into really any shape you want. We also have at the top the toolbar that has the options to save and print, undo, resize, rotate and a range of other options including the ever useful delete. So we can select orange tree, click delete or press the delete button on your keyboard and undo it back again. Lastly, there's the preview and notebook tabs. The preview tab shows you options to print and save as an image. Notebook shows you a list of plants in your plan. If we select a plant in our plan, we have a properties window that shows us the name, size, color, dimensions, etc., of the selected object. And we can change those easily. Change it to width of three feet, say here, and I don't know, maybe two feet for our shrub. Click on the color thing to change its color. At the bottom there, you have slightly light and slightly darker versions of the color you've currently got selected, making it easy to do small adjustments. Okay, let's start making a proper plan. So we'll do a new plan and give our plan a name. Uh, demo one will do. You can choose the measurement style, feet or metric. Um, we'll stick with feet and inches. Auto save in my plans folder just saves it in an easy to find folder that you can access uh, simply by clicking the My Plans button in the toolbar. But if you don't want that, you can uncheck it and then you can just save it anywhere on your computer, including your desktop or My Documents or whatever. Okay, let's get started. If we're designing a garden, we should think about um, what's the most prominent element of existing garden that we want to design or redesign. In the case of the garden I'm thinking about, it's a lawn. There's a large lawn in the back left hand corner of the garden. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to draw that lawn out. So I choose the drawing tools for lawn and then I click once, click again. Um, I know the size of this lawn, uh, 31 by 21 feet, sorry 36 feet. And there we have it, there's the lawn. Now there's also a fence running along the back. I could draw that with the fence's drawing tool or uh, the other option is simply to drag a fence over or wall over in this case and I can just drag and place that wall at the back of the lawn um, but the wall is a bit longer than that so I'll select it uh, move properties window out of the way and then use the blue dots to drag it to the actual length that it is in the yard and there we go that's the back wall with the lawn there's also a wall on the right hand side so we'll add that in uh, simply again click and click to add it in and then resize it I'll move properties window out of the way and resize it using the blue handles and there we go okay that's the start of a garden um, is there anything else that's prominent in the garden that is important to the design um, let me think about that well actually there is there's a large deciduous tree in the back left hand corner so I'm going to stick that in but the rest of the garden now is concrete really, but we'd, I don't want that, I want to redesign it. So I think what I want to do is uh, put a nice 
soil bed on the left hand side here uh, under that large deciduous tree and simply again click 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 to draw it out using the garden bed drawing tool and double click to end and there we have our gutter bed and the other section of the garden which in the garden I'm considering here is currently concrete but I want to change it and make it into something nice oh actually I should actually I'll just add a fence in here uh, it's currently a rickety fence but I'm going to replace it with a very nice elegant looking fence there uh, and yeah and I'm going to add some decking to the bottom right hand corner of the garden and again clicking drawing it out with the drawing tools and we have a garden and that's actually the core of the garden I want to design with garden planner now it's a bit boring it needs plants it needs furniture it but it's the start of a garden so you can then just simply add some furniture maybe add a shade umbrella and Think about designing your garden um, really it's up to your imagination in this case um, I'm gonna add some plants add some flowers uh, who knows I can come in and change it I could curve things around I could maybe add a water feature but at the moment I'm just gonna add a few plants a few shrubs uh, some flowers and that's it getting started with our garden plan so again the easiest way to get started, because all gardens are different, all shapes are different, gardens different shapes, layouts. Start by thinking about the prominent elements of the garden. And save it, and then we have it. There's our garden plan. Uh, for more information, there are other videos that cover the specifics in more detail, or particularly using the drawing tools, and also printing and saving.